Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share my first week experience with the highly anticipated Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you know, foldable phones have been making waves in the tech world and I couldn't wait to get my hands on this latest iteration. In this video, I will be diving into the good, not so good aspects I encountered during my first week with the device. So without further ado, let's get started. First up, let's talk about the good things that stood out during the first week with the Galaxy Z Fold 5. The foldable design of the Z Fold 5 is simply mesmerizing. Uh, the way it seamlessly transforms from a smartphone size screen to a tablet size display is a game changer. I mean, not only does it look stunning, but the functionality also adds a new dimension to multitasking and, and media consumption. Under the hood, the Z Fold 5 packs a powerful punch with the top of the line Snapdragon 8 uh, Gen 2 processor, ample RAM. Uh, whether I was multitasking between various apps or playing graphically demanding games, uh, this device handled everything smoothly without any type of lag. So far, let's hope that the One UI can hold out over a longer period of time but with this first initial uh, first week with this phone, everything ran without any type of problems. The camera setup on the Z Fold 5 is versatile and capable. Uh, the quality of the photos and videos I captured was impressive, even in challenging lighting conditions, plus the flexibility of using the main camera array for both regular and selfie shots is a convenient touch. I found uh, the larger tablet-like display to be productivity booster. Uh, it's split screen multitasking felt natural and I, you know, I was able to work on documents and browse the web simultaneously with ease and not without any type of problems. Now, let's move on to the aspects of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 that didn't quite live up to my expectations. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, the price. Uh, the Galaxy Z Fold 5 comes with a premium price tag that might be a deal breaker for many potential buyers. While the technology is impressive, it's undoubtedly an investment. Now, while Samsung made significant improvements in the durability department, foldable devices like this still raise, you know, some concern. Uh, the slight crease on the screen are a reminder that, you know, foldables are still evolving in terms of its durability. Now, due to the foldable design and the materials used on the Z Fold 5, now it is a little bit heavier and bulkier than conventional smartphones. So holding, you know, holding one for a prolonged period or using it with one hand can be a bit of a challenge for some people. App optimization. You know, although Samsung has made efforts to optimize the apps for foldable displays, not all apps are fully compatible. Uh, some apps still don't take full advantage of the larger screen real estate, uh, you know, which can be a little bit disappointing. So like, so in conclusion, you know, my first week with the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 has been a mix of excitement and a few challenges. I mean, the innovative design, you know, the powerful performance and the enhanced productivity options options truly make, make it a standout. Uh, however, highly priced durability concerns and some app optimization issues are important factors to consider before making a purchase. Uh, it's clear that foldable technology is evolving rapidly. And while the Z Fold 5 showcase incredible potential, uh, there's still you know room for improvement so um if you're an early adopter who values cutting edge technology this might be a device for you so <laughs> if you enjoyed this video uh, don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tech related content 
Also, leave your thoughts and questions uh, about the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 in the comment sections uh, below. And, uh, you know, until next time, stay tech savvy, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out.